Hello everyone and welcome to Vlad Circus Descent into Madness On June 6, 1921, the famous Vlad Circus caught fire, burning to the ground in less than 10 minutes. The tragedy caused dozens of deaths and hundreds of injuries. In 1922, the owner's brother, Joseph Petrescu, was found guilty of starting the fire and sentenced to the death by the electric chair. 1929, eight years after the fire. Pet Rescue's house or estate. It kind of is an estate because this is a gigantic household. And here we are. All right, my door has been knocked. Time to wake up. But what time is it? Have I overslept? Ah, I better hurry up. They should all be here by now. Oliver Mills is my character that I'm going to be playing with. Not that you have a choice. That's just a character you're going to play with. All right. Thank goodness. Here it is. I found my diary. Vlad Pet Rescue's letter. Mavi, April 1929. It sure took me by surprise. An invitation to meet my old friends. Vlad Circus will rise from the ashes. A brand new life. April 19. It has been almost a year since I left the Pendrus Asylum, but I can't get back to normal life. I've been thinking about the letter from Pla Vlad Pet Rescue I received during the spring. It is really possible to be a clown again? And going back to the circus? I don't know. I'll be leaving on the morning train. Right to the Pet Rescue's house. April 20th. The train passes through the landscape of lonely pine trees. Gone are the days in the asylum, the fear, my mother's grave, and everything else. Writing it feels good, and my anguish starts disappearing. I will reunite with my old friend, blessed be God. I haven't written anything since I came here, I should be ashamed. Nah, I, I don't think I will be. I, I'm pretty sure there's a choice here. Oh, rosary. Okay. My mother's rosary, we should stay close. Alright, we found a key. Probably the key to our room. Is there a light? Oh, there's light. Alright, so inventory. Use with the door. Alright, I've opened the door. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we are most probably on the first... Sorry, the second floor? Alright, we found another bathroom. Looks pretty empty. I don't know why I came inside. Can I get out? Oh, for Christ's sake. The lights went out. Well then, we are going to play in darkness, huh? Oh, who might you be? Ah, huh, Dr. Jasper. Mr. Mills. You have put on your costume. Extraordinary. It took you nearly eight years to overcome your fear. Yes, we'll take a photograph or a poster for the new circus. I didn't expect to see you here. I boarded a train as soon as I received your letter. Hmm. It stated that Mr. Petrescu was planning to rebuild the circus. And that you will once again play the clown, Lazy Owly. Yes, I, I'm going back to the circus. A situation that can be traumatic without professional help. I'd certainly be helping you, Mr. Mills. I'm grateful to you, doctor. You don't need to thank me. You have been an exemplary patient. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go unpack. I'll see you later. Certainly, if you'll excuse me. 
All right, we have our guardian angel. Dr. Jesper has come to help the director of Penrose Asylum in flesh. So I certainly surprised him when he saw me wearing my old costume. When I was in the asylum, I couldn't bear the thought of being lazy owie again. I see. Okay, I'll take the lamp. Thank you very much. Oh, the first floor is locked. A remark has been added. Go to the first floor is locked. Alright, so the remark might just be my goals. Drop objects and places. Okay, nothing right now. Also, my character is no hurry to get anywhere. Since I can't sprint right now. Alright, nobody's here. But where is everybody? It's Pet Rescue's old camera. The old man wants to take a picture for the new circus poster. I see. No one's here though. A phone, a grandfather clock, and another door. The door is locked from the inside. There's something downstairs. Oh, a monkey. Montabello. I didn't see him this morning when I arrived. That thriving monkey is like a son to Pet Rescue. He must be very old. Thank God he survived the fire. I see. Look at all those things. Ooh, what is that? A Oprah record. I don't know why I should take it. My mother, poor mother, used to say the spilling wine and spilling blood is same sin. Ah, yes, the Jesus Christ syndrome. So we got three more inventory slots, so... I kind of get a feel this game is going to be partially survival horror. So I should. Okay, I'm going to go inside the rooms. Oh, welcome. Roger, this you. Long time no see. Fate has brought old friends to this stormy night. Fire consumes and also create, my good sir. What do you mean? Oliver too has managed to overcome his fear. He has become lazy owly again. Yes, the clown again. I am cured, Rajat. Dr. Jasper has been very kind to me. Rajat feels grateful. The mutilated arm? Yeah, the self-arm self comes strong already. What happened to your arm? Rajat has begun to fulfill the plan of the stars, my good sir. Jesus, you have cut it off yourself? Oh no, Rajat, you shouldn't have. You'll condemn yourself to hell. Everyone hides in hell. In the depths of their mind, Rajat has chosen his. You have come to Penru's house. Pet Rescues. Or is Penru's? I am not quite sure about the name. Mm, uh, I'm glad you came, old man. Strange messages about the reunion have been seen in the sky, my good sir. One must be in this time and place to fulfill destiny. After the fire. What did you do after the fire? Rogers has gone back to traveling. He has seen other people and other places. He thinks that maybe in the end of the circus will well deserve punishment for his excessive behavior in the previous life. As my psychiatrist always says, you shouldn't blame yourself. Men carry unspeakable guilt from one life to the next, my good sir. Hey. Reunion with Raj. Raj doesn't seem to have aged one single day. It pains me to see him mutilate like that. This cannot be the old man's fate no matter how much he has sinned. I wish I could make him stop. Back in the asylum, I used to see him in my dreams. The fire was consuming everything. People died all around and the Fakir, Fakir was burning while uttering horrible screams. They were only nightmares. Saying that he is here to fulfill the destiny of the stars kind of tells me that he will play a significant role in my story. Or this one. Anyway, what about this thing? The tub is full of dirty water. It reeks. There's no water. All right, understandable. Oh, what is this scene? I'm sorry, what? Mr. Mills, are you all right? Back there, doctor, huge rats were eating the guts of a cat. Hmm, that's strange. Are you sure? I swear to God or my holy mother. Hmm, show me what you saw, Mr. Mills. Oh, it's gone, huh? 
Maybe my character is losing his mind. How? Well, I saw the cat was here. The guts were all over the place and the rats. Reunion with your cursed circus friends can be difficult. We talked about this at the Penrose. But calm down, Mr. Mills. You have imagined it. That's all. Try to control your nerves. Remember, stress hurts you. Pray if you think you need to. You brought your mother rosary, didn't you? Yes, doctor. I'll go nowhere, anywhere without... I'll never go anywhere without her. I'll, I'll be around if you will accuse me. Hmm. Perhaps it was an illusion. Or a delusion. Good heavens. Rashed in the kitchen. I think I'm not feeling well. I thought putting my costume would be harmless, but the rats were eating that cat. Mr. Jasper thinks it was my imagination. I don't think so. I better not mention it in front of the others. Unfortunately, I brought my mother's holy rosary. I will say my prayers and I beg you, Christ Lord, do not abandon thee. Alright, there is blood, although. Oh, no, I can run as well. The note says on Tuesday, 23rd, the plumber will come to check the pipes. I'm hearing whispers. Firebox. It's a burner for wood. Okay. The door is locked. Ooh, a metallic box. Open it, I guess. There is a fuse box. One of the fuses busted. My job as an electrician. At Vlad Circus, I was in charge of the light. Those were good times. I remember how proud I felt about the large murky pet rescue asked me to build and place on the top of the main tent. It had over 160 light bulbs. There was such a headache, especially after it rained and had to change the burnout once. At night, the words Vlad Circus would, would be seen from a considerable distance. Alright, cool. Why do I need a jug? Okay, so door to the backyard. Pet Rescue wanted to show me his plants, but he couldn't remember where he had left the key. So where is Mr. Pet Rescue? Like, is he in the place still? And what is this thing? A lever. It's not working. There's no power supply. Alright, the lever has no electricity. Understandable. I guess I have met all the people I could from here. Let's see what's on the other side. Bathroom. A female voice busy. Okay, somebody's inside. Oh, there's someone here as well. Jake Delmer. Oliver, you scared the hell out of us. Other oh, ventriculist. Oh, Jorikin. Jake, I haven't seen you in years. No way, you look just the same. Lazy Owly, as if no time has passed, huh? Yes, it is. Yes, it has. And I just turned 40. About the arrival. When did you arrive here? This afternoon, on the last train, along with the rest of the troop. Alright, then. I guess the dummy is now talking. His name is Van... Vnco. Vnco, I think. A bunch of losers. And what about you, my friend? When did you come? I took the morning train. I didn't want to risk it. I have a sleeping disorder. A sleeping disorder, damn, and why is that? Well, my life, my life hasn't been so easy after the fire, you know, Penrose, psychiatrist, bills, crisis. I've had several relapses over the year. When I finally got out last year, the economic slum started. You should be called lame, Ali. Let Pet Rescue. Have you been seen? Have you seen Pet Rescue? No, he hasn't shown up yet. We were talking about the good old time this morning. He just turned 72, but he's got his usual energy. He said he was planning to make his classic juicy steak for dinner. Stew for dinner. He's looking forward to welcoming us. Jeez, that's nice. It's going to be just like the old days. Rest of the troop. Where's everybody? Everyone. We were here waiting for the pet rescue when suddenly the power went out. There was a flash of lightning and boom. Now they must be milling around, eager to get the picture of the old man wants. Ha. It will be the picture of dinosaur. Cool joke, dummy. I just I just saw Roger. That crazy old man has mutilated his forearm. He keeps blaming himself for what he did in his early life. Who knows? One day he will lose it completely and cut off his head. Shut your mouth, Benico. 
Anyways, Red Pet Rescue wants to rebuild the circus only. We shall rise from the ashes. Isn't it pathetic? I mean thrilling. This is our chance to fail again, gentlemen. That's enough, Venigo. You are going back in the suitcase. Alyssa. Jake, tell me. Alyssa is here too, isn't she? Well, yes, she is. She came with all of us. She's changed somewhat different. I need to see your reaction when you see her. What do you mean? You'll find out, lazy Ollie. Hey, Oliver, we need to keep practicing. We won't surprise that old cocky pet rescue with a new act. I sure, Jay. I'll see you later. Everyone's here. I just ran into the Jack and the annoying puppet. He told me everyone was already here, even Alyssa, my beloved Alyssa. Sometimes fate by the will of Christ gives another chance. It will be nice to be back at the circus to be family again. Alright, Alyssa's uh, old lover, perhaps? Something like that. It's Jake's suitcase. Get away from my suit from my penthouse, you clown. Hey, Venico, you look the same as the years ago. Have you ever seen a puppet get old, my friend? I know a good Alabama for when you die. You'll be just like me. We'll be friends forever. Alright, a morbid puppet, indeed. Why don't you turn up the volume a little bit? Sorry, it doesn't sound loud enough without the horn. Then get one. Fine. I'll just take the record. Alright. A jazz record. Why did I take it? Hold on. Alright, I don't need to carry it. Alright, who else has left? Alright, this is an empty living room. Or a parlor. Bruto, poor animal. He died of suffocation in his cage during the fire. Pet Rescue told me he embalmed him to keep the memory alive. Oh, that's nice. Back there was some fire food that must have been left from the winter. The gate has a lock. Alright. Oh, somebody in a wheelchair, Donomic. Oh, my lord. Oh, he's the strong guy from the photo. Oliver, mon ami. Long time no see. I too have donned my old costume. But Dom, wh what are you doing in a wheelchair? Oh, owie. This chair I and I share a long history, Ali. After the Monsieur Pet Rescue's brother was executed, I had polio. How unfortunate. I wasn't well since the incident at the asylum, remember? I have healed from the disease, but my body couldn't take it anymore. Now my muscles are weak. There is nothing left of my iron org. Nothing left of the old iron org. Only his costume. Anyway, Monsieur Pet Rescue insisted that I come. It was a great gesture on his part. Oh, are we? Dom, I'm sorry. Hey, life goes on. You will do other things. Look at me. If I can try, so you can you. Well, you can walk, my friend. He can't walk. Donomic has become disabled. My strong man friend, the famous Iron Orc, is now a wheelchair-bound wreck. I remember how you used to live his elephant, Mortia. It was a display of strength that would leave you grinding your teeth and gasping for air. The audience loved him. I can't see how Dom would could return to Vlad's circus. I'll do everything I can to help him. Oh, Harry. Can somebody help me carry Alyssa? Alright, the guy who doesn't have legs, huh? Harry, has been so long. Oliver, you're here? Yes, I arrived on the train from the... Alyssa needs help. Come here, Oliver. Okay. Good heavens. More to you. What happened? I love to help, but I can hardly help myself. Alyssa, I've thought about her all these years. Oh, that smile is not good, man. Anyway, let's see what happened outside. Oliver here, quickly. Oh, she got stabbed. Alyssa. Oliver. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh, for Christ's sake, you're bleeding out. Help us, Oliver, the baby. Alyssa, I didn't remember that baby. She shouldn't have traveled in her condition, but arguing with her was useless. Harry, we have already discussed this at home. You need to take some rest and have your medication urgently. My friend, can you carry her to the house? 
Yes, sure, Harry. Oh, your beloved Alice. <laughs> she got knocked up. My dear L, Alyssa is expecting a baby. Could Harry be the father? I doubt that. I see that my friends care deeply for her. I would have liked to be in his place, but to be the one caring for Alyssa. But I must not. My mother used to say there's a reason behind God's way. Harry is a kind-hearted man. Rose before hose, I would say. The bleeding stopped. Alyssa is sleeping now. Another storm is coming, Mia Mies. Where is Monsieur Pedrescu? We have been here for hours, damn it. Hey, Bessie. Hey, Ginger. Oh, the twins are here. Uh, the conjoined twins. Do you always go to bathroom together? This is no time for jokes, Joe Quinn. Hey, Oliver. Long time, huh? When did you get here, boy? Bessie, hi. By mid-morning. Miss Amias, Madame Mozilla, Alyssa, has lost a lot of blood. I would be... It would be wise to do something. Rajit, can you prepare some of your medicine for Alyssa? Rajit can make the infusion for the bearded woman's pain. Hopefully it will help Alyssa and the baby. That's all that matters to me. I'll go and check on her. Excuse me. Alyssa shouldn't have come pregnant. Shouldn't have come pregnant, you idiot. Silence, Ginger, but it's true, brothers, that girl needs a doctor. And to make matter worse, that there's a train strike until Monday. Father Vlad would know what to do. Has anyone seen him? We were chatting this morning. He went for a nap and I haven't seen him since. He said we have one, we'd have one of his stews for dinner just like the old time. No way, we are still in the dark? All the better not to see your faces, you jerk. The Carver Siamese Twins The Carver Siamese Twins Bessie and Ginger have come too. I don't like those obnoxious girls. They're always arguing. The heads only agree in the presence of pet rescue. That old man has spoiled them. I don't know what he was thinking when he brought them into the circus. I think Joseph feared that his brother would end up handing over the circus to them. Oh, there is uh, hmm, some drama behind the scenes, it would seem. Okay, listen, need Roger's medicinal tree, another objective. And we got the garden and the house. Okay. Oliver, you were good with electrical stuff. Can you fix the light? Sure, I'll try. All right, I guess that's the fixing the light goal. Oh, wait. Okay. Poor Mr. Mills. I'm afraid his disorientation episodes are back. The reunion with his old friend is making him unstable. Hmm. I wonder how much of this is a delusion, how much of this is a reality. Alright, I have three goals in mind. Alright, there's a lot of blood here. Speak up. Damn freaks. Who's that? Is this a bad joke? Who the hell? That's strange. Alright, so another theory. The Vlad's brother did not die. Just saying. Uh, who could have called and why did he say that? Uh, probably hates you all. Let's see what Roger wants. Also, what is this thing? An Oprah record. Alright, I forgot that you can do that. Jesus, a jug shattered. People say high pitch voice can break glass, but I never thought it could shatter a jug. The rescue will be mad. Hmm, it can shatter a jug. I'll keep that in mind. It's a weapon, I would say. Oh, the blood is all uh, all the way here. Ah. Oliver, what are you doing here? Lisa's sleeping. I'm sorry, Harry. I it's been years since we met. Lisa's still in a lot of pain. I'm sorry, Roger's medicinal tree will soothe her. Tell him to hurry. I can't watch her suffer. We'll talk later. You better go out. I will look for look after Lisa. Leave us alone now. Sure, Harry, as you say. 
Well, he's being an asshole. Harry's silence. How can a man be happy no matter what? Like Harry. I like Harry. I respect him like a brother I never had. He finds a strength to keep on living, no matter how hard the circumstances. I don't think I would be able to do that. Just putting my old clown costume make my head spin. He barely talks to me and it hurts, but I forgive him. Melissa is his woman and to me she will be just a sweet memory that I will take to the grave. Damn. The bearded woman and the clown. Alright, the water. No, no water. Alright, that's locked still. Oh, take the fuse. A blown fuse. Huh, the copper filament is cut. Oh, another jug here. Not picking it up still. Our door to the backyard. Alright, so what is where do I exactly must I go? I need to find Rajat. Wow, it's already raining. Oh, what is that? A cloth bag. Hmm, it will help me carry more stuff. Oh, nice. I found some more inventory space. Ooh, a forest. The northern forest. It's all it's pet rescue's old wagon. Only a few wagons survived the fire. Is that so? Wait a minute, why is there a chalk line inside? That's unusual. Oh! Mr. Pet Rescue, what are you doing out in the rain in the dark? Are you alright? We were worried about you. Have you seen Joseph? Joseph? What Joseph? Joseph Pet Rescue, my brother. Who else would it be? But Joseph, he's dead. No, we just saw him run out. Hold on, the storm is too strong. We have to go back to the house. What the hell is that? Oh god, something is wrong here. Oh god, I'm throwing up. Holy mother of god, what's going on here? It can't be. Yeah, no, I think my character is losing his mind. The decapitated body was here. It was a hallucination. Another damn hallucination. No, I'm not going back to Pen Rescue Asylum. Sorry. Pen Rus Asylum. Yeah, my guy is confused. Dr. Jasper, I must see him as soon as possible. Something is happening to me. I'm hallucinating. I'm hearing strange voices and I saw a huge beheaded body. It was only for a few seconds, but holy Christ, his flesh was raw. The smell of burned flesh was nauseating. Why would I imagine an atrocity? My hallucination from Penrose Asylum were different. I must speak with Dr. Jasper, tell him everything. I see. Ooh, a loose board. One of the bridge board is loose. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, got it. I got a board, everyone. I'm so bored with this game. Ooh, what is this thing? Ooh, a key. And I'm not going back to a train station now. Alright, I see. Oh, I can't be this exhausted. The asylum treatments were, have ruined my body. Oh. A newspaper clipping. Pet Rescue must have dropped it. Joseph's arrest. The morning after the fire, the police department found Joseph near the circus drunk and carrying a revolver. He was taken to Scarnville Prison and following year he was found guilty of arson. He was sentenced to electric chair. I see. How unfortunate. When your brother betrays you the most. Hey, the storm is gone. All right, interesting. Oh, Dr. Jesper. Mr. Mills, how are you feeling? Doctor, thank God you're here. I'm suffering from hallucination again. Why do you say that? Have you seen anything else? 
A dead man. Help me, please. My sir. Oh. Rajid, old friend. Will you make an infusion for Alyssa? Rajid will look for marigolds for the bearded lady's tea, such as the fate. I have seen flowers of all kind in the forest. You might find marigold. Okay, engine medicine. The Fakir is a mysterious old man, but the man of God. His medicines have been a blessing for the Vlad Circus. Sorry for the interruption, Doctor. Don't worry. Describe the vision, please. A huge corpse covered in flies smelled, burned, and was beheaded, Doctor. Hmm, very disturbing. The return to the circus opens old wound. There's no doubt about it. We are going to need some medicine. You want to inject me with malaria blood in the asylum? What the hell is malaria blood? Calm down, Mr. Will. We don't need to give you a fever. Oh, is that what? Oh, controlled fever. <laughs> you and I are past that stage. My antipsychotic tonic will help with the hallucination. There are some bottles in my briefcase. Try not to be nervous. Rest is bad for you. Bad memories. All of this bring bad, bad memories, Doctor. Try not to lose your temper, Mr. Wills. All this keep in that. Keep in mind that these hallucinations are harmless. You will, if you fail to control your symptoms, drink some tonic. Don't forget that it is good for you in the asylum. This help. Thank you, Doctor. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to afford my rent when I left the Penrose. It is impossible to make up for all the things you do for me. There's nothing to tag me for, Mr. Mills. This is my job. I'll keep an eye on you, if you'll excuse me. R Jesus Christ, the tonic again. I'll take one. Back to tonic. Mr. Jasper perfected the recipe of an antipsychotic tonic while I was hospitalized. The rest of the treatment had no effect on me. Not even the ice nor the malaria induced fever. I will be forever grateful to him. It's just that I'm terrified of drinking that tonic yet again. I'm suspicious of it. Even when the hallucination go away, I lose my nerve. I see. What is that thing? Jack left this case here. A revolver? You can't carry more items. Holy hell, I have a revolver. Oh, my inventory is all full. Uh, I can't carry any more anything. I might need to drop things. Oh yeah, ja uh, Raj is outside, going to find the marigold. Oh, there is an upper floor. Alright, this is locked too. Oh, it does open that. A key is from here. I wonder what the other one opens. Oh, another decapitated head. Um, the tonics, right? Since the doctor said my hallucinations are... If not being controlled, I should drink this. I'm not going back to that damn asylum. The same taste of blood I used to hate when I was in the asylum. At least it works and the demons are gone. I'm scared. Dr. J Jasper's tonic take the hallucinations out of my head, but I'm scared. It's like all the years I spent in rehab in Penrose Asylum have been for nothing. And the treatment, the agony. I'm scared, mother. Those headless bodies remind me of so many sad things. Dust, silent, the flesh being consumed around the bones, the end of life. This is way worse than the visions I endure after the fire. What should I do, my lord? Is this one of your tests? Oh, don't forget you are abandoned. You don't have a lord anymore. Move the furniture. A strip wire. Oh, the copper wire. Yeah, I need that for the fuse. All right, can I go upstairs? I can. What? Why? Oh, there's another head. All right, I'm gonna go take another tonic with me. Oh my lord! Get out of here, you damn stinking rats! Holy mother! Father Vlad's house is infested with rats. The rats? Those rats give gave me the creeps. Don't be chicken, Oliver. My father used to lock me up in the cellar full of rats when he used to punish me. Cheer up, boy. Think of the future. We are coming back to the circus. It's true. Where have you been? What about you? Where have you been all these years? Well, you shouldn't care. Did we ask you about that? Ginger, don't be rude, girl. We have been working at 
Marie George Smith's Dime Museum. You know, normal people pay to feel grossed out. Oh, Ginger, please. In the new Vlad Circus, no one will feel no one will be disgusted or afraid of us. It will be just like before, Vlad promised. Don't make me laugh, lazy Oli. Go mind your own business and keep saying, keep spying on your dear Alyssa. Jesus, Ginger, shut your mouth. I ran into Pet Rescue in the woods. He was looking for his brothers. Can you believe that? You talk as if Father Vlad has gone mad, boy. Don't be ridiculous, Oliver. He must be joking. Let's hope he gets back in time for dinner. I'm just saying. He might have gone insane or he might not be insane. Oh boy, watch out for the rats. They look hungry. And be good or we'll lock you in the cellars. <laughs> Morbid. Pain creatures. The twins have all this intrigued. But I would have never dared to ask them about their condition. So I looked it up in the asylum library. I found a few cases like theirs. I saw... What the hell is that word? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, twins joined at the torso, but only with only one pelvis, two people in one condemned to live together in a single body. I know that if one of the heads were to die, the other could not live for more than a few hours. It is sad and very unfair that the creature of God should endure so much. Oh, yeah, it is like that, isn't it? Oh, rats. All right, there we go. Let there be light. Finally, the lights are back on. All right. Anyway, the last key. Is it with this one? All right, this is the for this one. Hold on. Take a piece of cheese. Why do I need cheese? Banana. For more trabello, maybe? <laughs> that was a bad idea. Ugh, that cheese is stale. Ah, uh, you shall not eat on... <laughs> Wait, you shall not eat on a full stomach. That's a fun little achievement. It's a piece of pork. It's too big to take with me. Alright, cool enough. Oh, wait, there's a... The note says Montebello, 8 o'clock. Alright, must be the meal. Looks like the old man is feeding Montebello here. The table has a nice velvet tablecloth. He treats him like a king. Martabella will be dancing with joy. Oh dear, the hours don't count. There's a hand missing. I see. That's why it says 8 o'clock. Alright, let's go and uh, help with the tea. Hey there, Rajat, my boy. Rajat, have you managed to find the flowers for the infusion? No, my good sir. The forest is dark even for Raj's instincts. I'm bringing the lamp with me. I can light the way. That will be very helpful, my sir. We must stop another hemorrhoid from, 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 from the bearded woman. She could lose the baby. Oh, talk about the things, huh? The guilt. Will we ever know what you have done to feel so guilty, old man? My good sir, Raj has endorsed pain and torture. But my punished body hardly reflects that which Rajat has inflicted on other people. It will never be enough. The pain. Every time you were subjected to all the torment in the circus. How do you bear all the pain? The torture of the body is art, my good sir. Art improves with time. Why are you doing this? People glimpse the spiritual meaning of pain through the torment of the body. You mean the pain is an instrument of God like crucifixion? Two-headed girls claim that people take pleasure in witnessing the suffering of others. That pain of other relieves one of own's pain. It's not that simple. The universe is duality. The pain of others helps the spirit learn without suffering in one's own flesh. Pain teaches. The agony of Raj's body is a gift. Raj's words are selfish. We haven't come to the world to suffer, but to fulfill God's will. 
which is one of the which is one of love and compassion. The old man is unable to forgive himself. Now I understand why he went through the torture. He laid on the nails, cut off pieces of his skin and flesh, and endured all kind of physical torment. At times he would lose so much blood that he nearly died. The audience cheered and applauded him. I feel sad and horrified when I remember that. The mutilations. But why have you mutilated yourself like that? Raj's hands cannot be washed, my good sir. Raj must cleanse the guilt of the past life until there are no traces left. Jesus, will you keep on doing it? I shall be as the stars declare, lazy Ali. What no, Rajat, when will you do it? Stars have not spoken again. Raja does not know why, but they haven't spoken again. All right, follow me, my old friend. I'll show you the way. Raja will be walking behind Ali like a spirit. All right, Raja didn't say me. He needs help. I think that's in Indian culture about reincarnation or something. Raja, do you think these flowers will work? Hmm. They are not marigolds, my good sir. Mm, they are not marigold. All right. There's a. There should be another flower patch then. All right. Sparkles. These rock look like a good spot to place something to cross over. It's too simple to jump. I don't want to smash my bones. Ah, old people trouble. Okay, I hate this. I don't see the need for this. The board is firm, it will be useful for crossing. Rajiv, why don't you take a look at these flowers? Hmm. Nature is wise, so they say. Here we have marigolds. You can prepare the healing tea for Alyssa now. Rajiv also needs some water. Here's a stream. It must be pure rainwater, my good sir. Ah, good. I'll take care of it. Raj is going to the kitchen to get some work done. The bearded woman doesn't have much time. What is growing inside of her will soon come out. Good heavens, El, sh El shouldn't have come in that condition. Another remark has been added. Raj needs a rainwater to prepare the infusion. Oh, so much bullshit. God's sake, Ollie. Climb the boat. Alright, time to take the gun. I got the revolver, baby. Let's go. For Christ's sake, I can see Jack hasn't lost his touch. I feel safer if I keep the gun with me until we get out of here. We have had our misfortunes in the past. Or right, anyway. I'll leave it here, guys. I'll see you all in the next episode of Vlad Circus Descend into Mad. Bye-bye.